What's up guys and gals, this is Interface. Follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Here I got a alarm, the version 2 alarm with the USB cord. And I'm going to design a steel casing for it so that nobody can actually steal the alarm itself. And it protects the alarm from getting hit by, oh I don't know, a hammer or anything hard. So right now I got an L bracket or an angled piece of uh, steel. I already welded uh, one side to show you how the other side is going to be. I'm seeing if it fits. I also cut it to make sure it fits the alarm itself. So I'm just going to literally make two more of those. Trim them. Right here, I'm going to weld that at this angle and then I'm going to cut it. Right here, it fits normally and then I'm going to cut that last piece off right here. And I'm not welding it all the way, like the whole side of the angle, I'm just welding, spot welding it from the top little corner and then on the bottom a little corner and this is made out of steel you can actually do all of this just with a uh, JB weld and aluminum and it'll work exactly the same so instead of welding you'll be just gluing it with JB weld and the aluminum or you can use steel too but steel is kind of heavy the end product is kind of heavy The other way to do this too, by the way, is little bolts and nuts and a uh, drill. And if you're going to do that, use aluminum. It, it's way easier to drill through. For this project, I'm just going to use um, a welding machine. Here's the last side. I'm just gonna weld this last piece. This last part fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weld it a little bit. Don't need that much welding with something like this. It's not really meant to hold up weight. It's just meant to keep inside so nobody can break it with a hammer. Making sure it still fits perfectly. It's not actually that perfect. I'm gonna have to like put pieces of paper to stop it from moving around. It's gonna jiggle around inside of there. But I'm just cutting off the last uh, pieces of steel off of it and then I'm gonna cut a little bit of steel on the bottom to make it a little bit lighter. After that, I'm going to weld a piece to hold it in on the top. 
so that people can't actually pull it out. Also, I'm going to uh, cut holes for the USB cord and for the little button on the other side. Okay, so I'm, right now I'm cutting the hole for the USB charging port so I can charge it without taking it out or anything because I'm not going to be able to take it out once I weld it inside. And there's no reason to. And I'm going to cut a hole on the other side so that I can actually reach the button on the other side too. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of steel on the top so nobody can actually pull the alarm out. Now, to actually hold it onto the bike, I'm actually welding two bolts and then I got a piece of steel and drilled two holes in it so I can actually screw it onto any uh, one of the poles on the bike. So the stem or the middle of the bike or basically anywhere on the bike. Put it through and then put the bolts right through the holder in the middle and uh, spin the nuts so it's super tight on the bike. Uh, I recommend probably using lock nuts. I didn't use lock nuts on mine. You should probably use lock nuts and maybe I'll use lock nuts later, but this is just regular nuts. So now it's all ready. It looks ugly, but afterward, um, I haven't done it yet in this video, but maybe later on in another video, I'll show you how it looks. When I use a Dremel, or a grinder to grind off all the slag off of it and actually spray paint it so it doesn't look so grimy but you get the concept this will hold on and nobody can pull it off any bike and even if they try to slowly start pulling off the nuts it the alarms could be going off there's a cat that I'm petting you need to do that in the process that's very important here I am right now just testing it out, seeing where I'm going to put it on the bicycle. And I'll just put it on the other one to demonstrate how it would be attached to the bike. So I'm putting it on the top, and then on the bottom, I'm going to put the little 
slab of steel right through the holes and then turn the nuts to tighten it. This is going to slow down so if anybody tries to hit the alarm itself, which would be stupid, there's no point in doing that. They can't really hit it because that steel on the top is protecting it. And they can't quickly pull off the alarm itself if they want to take it off. Because these alarms usually only come with just little two plastic hooks, zip ties, and they can easily cut those off and run with your alarm. Of course, the alarms could be going off when they're running with it, but people do weird things. So this will hold it onto the bike. And of course, you can wrap probably duct tape around it, like black duct tape, so they can't even see where to cut it or what's holding it on. So I'll slow them down and the whole time the alarms could be going off. That's the end product. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also use this for motorcycles, scooters, dirt bikes, car doors, anything that moves and shakes. And be safe out there. Lock up your bikes, your dirt bikes, your ATVs, everything. This is a huge deterrent for people not stealing your stuff. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to weld a steel chain or you can use JB weld and weld the chain all around to make it impossible to break with any bolt cutter. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe.